Hey, hello everybody and welcome to the Anxiety Recovery School. I'm Benita and today I am posting one of my Bond's top tips for helping you manage your anxiety. Now, anxiety is uncomfortable, it's emotional, and to be honest, we all uh, we all react to it very differently. Some people get heart palpitations, sweats, we avoid stuff, we do things we wouldn't normally do, and that's where our anxiety then starts to spiral out of control. Now, when we try and avoid stuff, it, it actually makes us feel really uncomfortable. So for example, when I've got clients who come and work with me because they've got a fear of motorway driving, for years perhaps they've avoided motorways and they've driven on A roads or country roads and they just can't bring themselves to, to, to get back on the motorway. But what happens is we, we then get into what we call the avoidance trap. So we just avoid everything to do with that anxiety and that makes things so much worse for us. We actually end up spending so much time avoiding the stuff that we're anxious of that we then start to create an even bigger problem. So my top tip for managing your avoidance trap is the following. When you start to notice your anxiety starts, you've got to become really self-aware that this is what's happening is, first of all, write it down. So to get yourself a notebook or a notepad, call it your anxiety book or whatever you want to do, note it down and write it down. And second of all, you need to sit down, you need to face it, and you need to read it back to yourself. So you almost need to say, well, is it really real? And that's a really good way of facing it, but not with a fear response. Now, the more you read it back to yourself, that is a very left brain activity, it helps the right brain, which is the emotional brain or the reptilian brain go, hang on, like, why am I reacting like this? Now, what it actually does is it, uh, the more you read it back to yourself, the more your body starts to respond and reduces its effect. It reduces its response. So where in the first instance, you might have had a really high cortisol spike or a really high fear response. The more you read it back to yourself and you, you, you might have a list of, a, of four or five or six different anxieties that you've noticed are coming about. The more you read it back to yourself, the more your body will respond and it gets used to it. So actually you start to fool your brain and your body into thinking, well, actually, I'm getting used to that response now. It's not as big as it, it used to be. What happens is it normalizes the anxiety. So we need to try and fool our body and our brain. What also happens is that there's that, that, that acceptance that comes on board. So we use this technique to actually dilute the anxiety over and over and over and over. So it's like diluting a, a drink. So when you pour that orange squash, the more water you pour in it, the more it dilutes. That's what we need to do with your anxiety. Furthermore, if this works for you, don't forget, use your Worry Monster download, the free booklet that you'll find in several posts in the group. Download the booklet, sign up for the emails, and then you can stay in touch. So enjoy, uh, I hope you enjoy my top tip for today, the avoidance trap, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.